Alright guys, seeing as I've been a lazy cock recently, I decided I would make a very nice long video of Terraria for you. I just bought this game, um, you know, I played several hours of it, so I'm not exactly a noob, but I'm not extremely good. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go in a single player mode, create a character, and we shall change the hair to, let's say... Oh, I don't know, red. I like that. That's a nice hair color. The eyes are fine. The clothes look good. I really don't want to fuck with it that much. Check. And we shall call it Kog. For Hail G. Kylie Gaming. There you go, Kog. Or let's, let's actually do Kog. His name is Kolg, because why the fuck not? Alright, so we're gonna go with Kolg. Create a new world. Small. And we shall call it... YouTube. Still getting used to the keyboard that I've owned for months. It's kind of becoming a bad excuse for me, I do apologize. Any second now, we'll start working on this, but as for right now, we just have to wait. Yeah, so it was really goddamn annoying to get this game up and running as I punched change on my desk. Generally because of the fact that all of this just recording problems with it, I had to change the FPS values and... How it's recording, so there we go. Now we can hop into the game. Excellent. So, if you've never heard of Terraria, it's kind of obvious. It's like a 2D Minecraft, and I'm, I will highly doubt it if you try to tell me that there's no. You have no idea what Minecraft is. Damn, this is so slow after what I have been using. I might show you guys my other character if you'd like to. He's not the best, but he's not the worst. Oh, it's gonna take forever to chop down this tree. Ah, perfect. We're gonna chop down all the trees. You know what? Because this is my world and I can do whatever the hell I want, I'm gonna stump them. Let people know that I deforested this area. Good try, though. Good try, Mr. Slime. Now we have some torch material. This is all working out just fine. I'm sorry if it enrages you that I'm not taking the stumps, but I could care less, honestly. I can grow more trees. Why would you want to use these, like, bare trees? That usually tells you that the wood is rotted away to the point where the top is broken off. I'm always too... Like, I look too far into stuff like this. But, honestly, it's my job to do this. I wanted to get the Stanley Parable, too. That game looks so fun. I remember watching... Uh, people do the mod and it was just such a cool little mod that I wanted to do something from it but I don't think they've even you know done anything other than you know touched up how the game looks that's about all they did with it they didn't even you know all they did they didn't take any story I think maybe the audio is the same I don't know how you can chop wood backwards in this game, but it works. I really need to rework my mouse settings because it's way too sensitive for a game like this. But for, you know, FPS's and stuff, it makes sense to have it at, or I think it's around 5400 is what I have it set at. Not too extreme, but not too bad either. So, let's get started with the house. I think it needs to be three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm sorry if I'm a little slow with the game, but it kind of comes with having my having to need my mouse changed. All right, so we're just gonna build a little simple shack. Perfect. And now we're gonna go into our menu and craft a table. And now we're going to craft a couple doors. Oh, I have to chop these logs down. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. And this is why they had the double-sided axe back in the day. Just a little history lesson. Is that the axes, they would have one side. They weren't more, they were more for wood cutting than for battling. If you can believe that. Regular battle axes were actually just a one-sided axe. But a the thing that we commonly know as a battle axe was truly just a wood cutting axe for the Nordic people. My my uh you know Eiler, he's he's very heavy into Nordic lifestyle and stuff like that because he's uh half Danish and you can tell he's he's got that Viking blood in him, so anyway, the point being that the axe was actually one side was for cutting uh, down the tree and it was kept extra sharp. The other side was kept relatively dull so that you could smash out the roots of the tree and take the stump. So, I don't know if you, any of you find that interesting, but I found it to be an awesome little tidbit. I do enjoy a lot of history, and let me guys know, let you, let me know if you guys would really like to hear more little history tidbits, because I enjoy history and I know a lot about some of history. I mainly know wars. That's my area of expertise, because you know I'd always watch the History Channel and the Mister Military Channel, blah. And, you know, it taught me a lot of things. Any second now, we'll have this all filled up and done. Now, put back the bench. Go near the bench, and we're going to build... No, I don't want dirt. Why am I getting such a slowdown with the game? This is very weird. This is annoying. Let me try to figure this out, guys. Be right back. Does that fix it? Yes, it did. I had like 10... Um, uh, whatchamacallit. That's going to have to do until I get something a little bit better. Because I'm going to fix the outside, but not the roof, just for the express purpose that it's going to be the second floor. And I don't have a hammer, so I'm kind of fucked on that front, but hey, what can I do? At least we have a nice cave to explore right after this. So, we have, let's see. I need more wood wall. Come on. Come on. Come on, you bastard. There we go. Come on. I'm really not used to much about the game. I just wish it would zoom a little bit closer to my character. 
Oh, I'm out. Okay, so time to make torches. I don't know if I have enough time to... Fuck you, goldfish. I don't want any of their cracker shit. That sounds partially racist. But, time to chop down the tree. This is fairly boring. This game is kind of boring at the beginning, and I do apologize, but we're gonna go down mining, and that's going to be pretty exciting right after this. After I claw my eyes out of boredom, because I hate everything that the beginning of this game stands for. I'm really going to kill this fucking slime. Because usually an axe to the face makes things react in a kind of bad way, but no. Not the slimes. Where are my walking goldfish? I want my walking goldfish. Come on. Fight me. Fight me, you umbrella bastard. God damn it, you little fuck. I will kill you as I chop down a tree. You think you can trick me? You think the jukes will save you? God damn it, you piece of shit. Get away from him. Fuck off! How many people have been killed by fish? How many? Can you give me a count? I don't think you can. That makes me really fucking special. I will always be known as, hey, do you know that guy that was murdered by a flying fish? You can't beat that. It's like, oh, what's a good example? What is an interesting death? I don't really think it would be a good idea just to tell you guys to leave me an interesting death in the comments, because generally that's looked down upon by most people. 132 should be good. Okay. Alright, get these gaps all sealed up. We're gonna get this house in spiffy and nice. It's gonna be fancy as all hell. Ooh, stars. I might have to get that if I'm not, you know, dying. Alright, we're gonna craft... A couple wooden platforms, just for continuity purposes, or, well, whatever you want to call it, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Anyway, so we're gonna just touch up the house. Actually, you know what, fuck it. Fuck it, let's go mining. Oh. Oh, you son of a bitch. Fuck off. It's too damn dark in here. There we go. Let's get into this lower cave. Any second now, there we go. Are you kidding me. Oh, 
Oh, GG. You fooled me. Okay, so let's just continue digging. You know, the old style. Digging down? I... I don't know. It goes against most of my instincts to do this, but this is what you're supposed to do in this game, I guess. Okay, so let's swap the wood walls for the wood platforms. And then... Right there. And right there. And that's how we'll get up. And we'll leave a torch here, just because. Four, and I'm pretty sure if I put it right above my head, it'll be tall enough. Yes, it is. I'm doing it just a little bit safe right now, but I do apologize. I'm just trying to keep it safe. So, you guys should tell me, what games have you guys been interested in? I've been seeing a bunch of badass new games coming out recently, and I'm really wondering what games would you want to see me playing? Pink and pink, and let's just double our platforms, actually. Just to make it, con just to simple it, simplify it. My mind isn't working extremely properly, but it never is, truly. Okay, so that is... about... Out there, I would guess. Oh god, please not this fucking fast in the game. What am I, like 200 blocks down? Please. Leave me mo alone, baby nope. Please, nope, 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 not fucking with that. I'm not fucking with that. Get me out of here. Get me out of here now. Oh, I can kill it. Not fucking around here. Okay. It's getting quite... Oh, I almost missed that. Thank you, Mr. Torch. The good news is, is we found another shaft. What I've been seeing, it seems that the next one is going to be about there. Yep. And then exactly where my feet are. Close enough. This is kind of a shit cave system, wouldn't you agree? I was expecting monsters and just... I should really check just to see what's around me. Okay, there seems to be some type of rat. I should probably put the torch down. There we go. Alright. We're just gonna move right on along because I saw some type of chasm this way. Chasm, whatever the hell you want to call it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Close enough. Why do I hear, like, demonic sounds in this game? It's very, very creepy.